So let's have examples for uh, geometric series. For example, number one, we have the first term is 2, the common ratio is 3, and find, um, or we're going to look for S sub 10. Um, obviously, ang R natin na hindi equals to 1, so we will be using this formula. Is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub 1 R raised to N all over 1 minus R. And then we're going to plug in or all the values. So we'll go looking for S sub 10. Your A sub 1 is 2 minus your A sub 1 is 2 times common ratio is 3 raised to 10 all over 1 minus your common ratio is 3. Okay. So, kung madami itong gagawin, no? So, ang gawin natin, let's uh, compute using calculator. Let's plug in. So, we have 2 minus 2 times 3 raised to 10 divided by 1 minus 3. So, the answer is 59,048. 59,048. So, of S sub 10. In the series 10 plus negative 5 plus 5 over 2 plus up to alam, kailangan, 20, 20th term. So we're going to look for the some of the first 20 terms. Um, we know we already know what's a sub 1. A sub 1 here is 10. Pero yung common ratio hindi natin alam. So kunin natin yung common ratio. Um, common ratio is equal to pwedeng negative, uh, pwedeng, uh, negative 5 over 10 which will give us negative one half. The other one will become r equals five halves divided by negative five is equivalent to five halves times um, negative one over five. So cancel yung five dito. So the common ratio is one half. So mag mahalaga na i-check nyo lagi kung uh, geometric series ba yun. Kasi kung hindi pala siya geometric series, then hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung formula. So in this case, our common ratio is one half. The formula again is a sub 1 minus a sub 1 r raised to n over 1 minus r. Let's plug in all, all the details. We're looking for the sum of the first 20 terms. Um, a sub 1 here is 10 minus 10 times negative 1 half. Sorry, I used to 1 half. 1 half raised to 20. Um, divided by n minus negative 1 half. Okay, so again, uh, books na rin calculator natin and let's solve for this one. So we have 10 minus 10 times negative 1 over 2. So para masulat natin yun, kaya natin, yan, negative 1 over 2, close parenthesis raised to 20 divided by 1 minus negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2. And then let's press enter. So the answer is 6.66. Or approximately 6.66. So the answer is approximately 6.67. So it's the value of the summation. Kasi, mapansin nyo, palit ng palit yung value natin. From 10, negative 5, 5 halves. Palit ng palit yan. So until uh, 20th term, so the sum is 6.67, approximately 6.67. Let's have um, example number 3. So summation. Summation of 2 times 3 raised to x um, as x runs from 1 to 10. Ang indicator para malaman nyo kung geometric ba yung summation, kailangan exponential yung ano, uh, exponent. Or exponential kasi ito. Exponential yung form. So dapat yung variable mo, okay, uh, exponent siya. That's the, your indicator na geometric yan. Kasi kung kasama siya nung mga terms, katulad kunyari, kung yan ay summation of summation of 2 times 3x, for example, x equals 1 to 10, ito ang mangyayari dito, ano to, arithmetic to. Pero kapag ganito, geometric to. Let's see. Um, your first term, your first term is 2 times 3 raised to 1. Okay. This is equivalent to 6. Your second term is 2 times 3 raised to 2, which is, what's this? 3 squared, that's 9 times 2, that's 18. And your a sub 3 
is 2 times 3 raised to 3. 3 raised to 3 is 27 times 2, 54. 54. So 6 to get to 18, you multiply it by 3. 18 to get to 54, you multiply it by 3 again. So your common ratio is 3. So your first term is 6 with common ratio equals to 3. And we're going to look for the first 10 terms. So we're looking for S sub 10. So S sub 10, um, using the formula, the formula is first term, A sub 1, 6, minus 6 times your common ratio, which is 3 raised to 10, divided by 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3. Okay. So again, let's get our calculator. Let's substitute um, 6 minus, so it's a fraction. So it's 6 minus 6 times 3 raised to 10 divided by 1 minus 3. So the answer is 7, 177,144. So therefore, this particular summation over here is equal to 177 or 177,000. 144. Let's have example number 4. On her new job, Casey's starting salary is 250,000 per year. Per year. The per month, per year. She receives 1.6% annual raise. Find her total earnings at the end of 5 years. So yung una, at year 1, meron siyang uh, 250,000. Ito sweldo niya. On A sub 1. Tapos magkakaroon siya ng sweldo at... Uh, a sub 2, that will become 250,000. So, kung may raise siya na 1.6%, ibig sabihin, uh, imumultiply natin ito sa 1.6% yung 250,000. Tapos, i-add natin sa 250,000. Pero, pwede na natin na imultiply natin yung 250,000. Parang 150 yung sinabi ko kanina. Yung 250,000 sa 1 plus 1.6%. Ang 1.6% is 0 0.016. So, imumultiply natin ito sa 1.0 one six. It's the same thing as multiplying or getting the 1.6% of 250 and then adding it again to 250. It's the same as multiplying it by 1.016. Your A sub 3, your A sub 3, you're going to multiply it again. Kung magkano yung A sub 2, multiply it by 1.6 again. Or 1.016, sorry. Or 250,000 times 1.016 raised to 2. So, dalang best na. So, ang kailangan natin hanggang A sub 5. So, meron tayong A sub 4 here kasi hindi nakita. A sub 4 is 250,000 times 1.016 raised to 3. At yung fifth term natin is 250,000 times 1.016 raised to 4. But, ang kailangan natin ay yung summation ng lahat ng earnings niya for 5 years. So, we'll, we, we need S sub 5. S of 5. So, from the formula. Kung nalilito kayo sa formula, kailangan tulad nyo na ngayon sa notebook nyo yung formula ng geometric series para hindi na kayo tingin-tang-tingin. -tingin. Okay? So, S of 5, we have first term. First term is 250,000 minus 250,000 minus 250,000 Kaya nga may linya. Hindi ko sinusod yung linya, no? Common ratio, common ratio is not 1.6%. Rather, it's 1.016%. Or, sorry, hindi pala siya percent. 1.016. Raised to 5. Divided by 1 minus R. 1 minus 1.016. Okay. Again, to compute this, let's get our handy dandy calculator. Let's plug in. We have 250,000 minus 250,000 times 1.016 raised to 5 over 1 minus 0 0.016. So the answer is, oh, why is it negative? Why mali tayo na pindot? Baka may kulang. Hindi dapat negative. Ah, okay. So, kulang tayo ng 1 dito sa baba. 1. Yeah. So, the answer is... Sorry, it's... Uh, sulat ko muna ha. 1290645. 1290645. So, it's 
1,290,645.136 pesos. Her total earnings for five uh, for the five years for the first five years. So her Casey's total earnings in five years is how much? One million two hundred ninety thousand six hundred forty-five point one three six. Okay, that's it.